morning everybody and welcome back to Farming with Boise. Let's get farming. Hope you're all well, hope you all had a good weekend. It's now Monday morning, Monday the 11th of October, and uh, we're back drilling again. So, had yesterday afternoon off, finished off the field in the last video, had yesterday afternoon off, had a lovely roast with the family, and we're, yeah, we're back at it now. So, sun's back out again. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, nothing to, to measure. So, uh, yeah, we're down in a field called Hangar. Yeah, it's a fair old slope this field. It's a big dell we're just about to drop over into in a moment, which you will see. But it's going in perfect. So this is six stays we're putting in here. It's a new variety to us. We've never grown this before, so we're, we're gonna grow a few hundred acres of this this year, see how it goes. And uh, hopefully it'll do well. So we got this field here to do one next door to this one, a little one, it's only about nine, ten acres, and then two more over at the other side of the farm to do with it stays. There'll be a switch back over to Winter Barley to drill that wet corner in the other field. So, fingers crossed as we keep doing this season, we should get all of this it stays in today and tomorrow, which will be another nice lump of the, the farm drilled. And then, uh, yeah, we'll drop back onto the Winter Barley then we've got one field of Gleam to put in, which is another, this is a feed variety, I think it's a group four. We're going to put a field of that in because we couldn't get hold of the seed we wanted because of shortages. And then we will be back then on to Elicit. So we are waiting on the Sludge Cake Boys to come in and spread only about 55, 60 acres, so not very much at all. And we are waiting on seed delivery of the illicit seed for our next year's home save. So um, by the end of the week, we should be pretty much done if the weather holds. Fingers crossed. It's looking pretty good at the moment. They pushed the rain back now from Sunday to Monday, and then I've just checked it 10 minutes ago, and they pushed it back again to uh, Tuesday. So we should have a week today. We've only got, I think, about about 240 acres to drill so we should get it done all being said if it does turn wet for the last little bit we'll get the power hour drill on and uh, we'll bang it in with that so it shouldn't be too bad so just across the ways there I don't know if you can see it the brown field over there with a the pylon in it that's where we were drilling on Saturday the winter barley um, that went in absolutely fantastic we're going to look at rolling that probably I would say Thursday this week Wednesday Thursday so we want to leave it as long as we can just to try and get some of that moisture to come up a bit more so we don't cap the soil we had a little bit of a problem last year we rolled a little bit too soon on some of our wheat fields it just sealed it nicely but then we had about an inch of rain um, three or four days later and it, yeah where it capped it we well we, we lost big big patches of the field and then you get the May weed comes up you get all the weeds in there so uh, if we can help it we'll leave it as long as we can to roll it if it looks like we've got some inclement weather coming we'll get it rolled and, and buttoned up before then so we're drilling the six stays at 178 kilos per hectare that is roughly i think around 350 odd uh, seeds per meter squared so not a massive seed rate but it's uh, yeah, it's still plenty early enough yet. Morning, everybody. So it's now Wednesday the 13th. It's uh, yeah, 10 10 30 in the morning. So we've switched over now. We've finished off drilling the stays. We switched over. We we didn't quite have enough seed for the winter barley, so we nipped next door to the farm um, and we got some off of them. So we finished off that wet corner of the field of the winter barley. And we're now out here drilling the gleam. So we're in a field called Pond Field. And yeah, we've only got one field of this stuff. So we're gonna drill this, clean the drill out again, recalibrate onto some seed that we're gonna get 
Uh, the boss is going to pick that up now from the seed merchant in Winchester and we're going to drill that in a field just over the ways which had green cover in it last year called North Field. So, so we'll get this one done, we'll clean out and get on to the other seed. So this is a different variety we're growing here, we've, we've never grown Glean before, I think it's a group four, just a feed wheat. We'll, we'll, uh, this will probably be pheasant food for next year. So that will use that up. I believe we're due rain here now on Saturday. They did say Sunday, they pushed that back to Monday or Tuesday and has now come forward again and they're saying Saturday. So the sludge guys are coming in hopefully tomorrow on Thursday. So we'll get some of that cultivated in on Thursday and Friday. I don't think we're going to get it drilled. I think we're going to miss the boat on it and have to wait for the next weather window. So there's only around 60 acres down there to drill. So if I have to do it with the power harrow drill, it's two, two days drilling. We'll be done. It'll all be buttoned up and uh, and that'll be the end of it. So, But what we have got to do is we've got to get it mixed in. You've, I think you've got to start within 24 hours, 48 hours of them spreading, starting spreading. It's got to be started to be mixed in. So um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be hard up behind them. It's another shoot day here on Friday, so I'll be on my own, um, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I should be able to get it all done behind them anyway as they're doing it, and hopefully if they're finishing off on Saturday, if they don't come in until Friday, then Saturday won't be wet until 2 o'clock, so I should be able to get done behind them there. everybody it's now Thursday the 14th we finished drilling everything we've got ready to drill so I've jumped on the 6215 you see that she's got the jewelies on and uh, we got the rollers on So I'm just getting everything rolled up now. T came in yesterday afternoon and rolled four fields for us. So, uh, so yeah, this morning I'm just gonna get everything rolled up so that Baz can get on the sprayer and get them sprayed up with the preems because in three days time he's got to spray them with the Avidex. So, uh, so yeah, we're, uh, we're on the 215, the heavy rubber with the old jewelies on and uh, we're getting it done. So we've done this field over here just to the side there, which is Rookham. I don't know if you can see that out the dirty windows. And uh, we're in Pondfield now, so we should hopefully by lunchtime have everything rolled. Today's looking like a better day than they gave us. Yesterday was meant to be cloudy all day and we had sunshine. Uh, today is meant to be really cloudy and black and we've got that a golden orb in the sky, so we've got a bit of sun again today, so that's good. That's drying things out a bit more. Um, ACS hopefully are coming in tomorrow sort of late morning to start with the uh, with the sludge cake so I will get the cockling on get all new metal on it because I don't want to be changing any of the metal that has worn slightly uh, once it's got the poo on it and uh, yeah we'll get we'll get ripping into some of that I shouldn't think we'll get any drilled this weekend just I think primarily because it's gonna be wet on Sunday I believe so uh, if the weather changes and it, and it holds out a bit, then we will get some drilled, but we've got about 65 to 70 acres left to drill, and yeah, it, we could do that with a power harrow drill in two days, so really not fussed anymore. We're pretty we're pretty relaxed now. It'd be lovely to get it all buttoned up and finished and rolled and pre emmed and that, but I don't think we're gonna quite do it. I think we're running out of time. 
Morning everyone, it's now Sunday. We've skipped forward a couple of days. We're down here, they came and spread the sludge cake yesterday. So we got some ground worked and we're down here working the ground and drilling it at the moment. So Tom is just over there with the Cocklin and his tractor. Um, and he's, yeah, he's just working it down in front of us and we're, we're power hard drilling it in. Be honest, this ground down here is lovely. It's going lovely. So uh, yeah, we've got the we've got the old power hard drill on. So uh, it's a coon venter, and uh, yeah, it spends most of its life in in a barn over on the other side of the farm. And yeah, now and again gets hitched up to the power harrow. So and it makes such a nice job. It, it's uh, it's an acquired taste, conventional farming. Um, I don't mind it, but it's yeah, it's a little bit steadier than the six meter horse, obviously, but it makes a fantastic job. I know my old man would be saying, "Cool, look at that, that's beautiful, that's real farming," but it's uh, it's sucking diesel, it's burning money, but sometimes you just have to do it. So I'm on RTK now. We decided to go across to RTK and for this job I'm drilling in lands on these steep banks here and it's yeah it works out lovely it, it just you could be the lower side of the bank because it goes all different ways I don't know if you can really see it on camera but it it kind of it kind of goes all different ways across the valley and uh, yeah it makes a difference it makes a huge difference so this drill is a four meter uh, we got it back in 2005, so it's from when we used to be used to be more conventional. Yeah, it's 2005. It's done a fair bit of work. It doesn't do so much anymore. It probably does about 150 to 200 acres a year. Not very much at all. The power harrow still does a lot. That does all the game covers and grass, and when we put new grass in. So uh, yeah, cracking bit of kit. Gotta love it. Bit of retro farming. I wish you guys could smell it down here because it absolutely reeks. It's got a, it's a mixture of urine, uh, cabbage, and uh, fish. It's yeah, it's not the best. But there's Tom coming across. Making a lovely job. Yeah, as I was saying, it's um. Yeah, it absolutely stinks. The smell is a mixture of cabbage, urine, and fish. Um, and it's, yeah, it's pretty rank. It, uh, it almost put me off my KFC just now. So, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's not the best for a Sunday morning. Glad I didn't have a skinful last night. <laughs> 